Hello, I'm Bob from Bob CNC, and I've written a macro in Microsoft Excel that will aid us in making a G code file for V carving stars for our CNC machines. This video tutorial will show you how to use this workbook. So let's go ahead and get started. First, all the parameters that we can change are in orange. Once we have them set, we'll click the Star Maker button. This will make us a G code file in the same directory as this workbook. So, what are the parameters? Pretty easy. First, the file name itself. This is really the, whatever you want to call your G code file. Again, when you click Save, it will save it as the same directory as this workbook under this name. Next is the units. It's either inch or millimeters. We'll go ahead and choose inch. Next is ZSAY. This is how far the bit will be away from the surface. I'm assuming your surface is the zero point. Next will be the feed rate. I have 20 inches per minute. The next parameter is star diameter. If you have a circle and a star within the circle as large as it can be where the points are touching the circle, this is the star diameter. Next is the bit angle. It's a calculated value, but your standard bits will be 60, 90, and 120 degrees. Next is the bit diameter. This is the largest diameter of your V-bit. Then we have the number of decimal places that the calculations will use and write the G-code file with. In the next section, we need to place the first star. This is reference from the origin, and it'll be over this distance and up this distance to make the center of the first star. I have one inch and one inch, so it will go over to the right one inch and up one inch to make the first star. Next will be the spacing. I have it set at two inches over and one inch up to make my pattern of stars. The pattern of stars is created by how many rows and columns that you have plus the offset. The offset offsets every other row of stars by a percentage. If it was zero, they would all be straight above each other. 50% they will be halfway in between. Also, because it's popular to make American flags, I have a yes or a no. If you type in yes, it will override some of these parameters to help you make an American flag. If you really want to get the parameters correct, one of our Facebook users gave me a link to this organization that has appropriate uh, proportions for making the flag. So again, once we have this set, and I'm going to have it set to American flag just to show you that one, we hit Star Maker, and then you can open your favorite G code viewer like I have here and see the creation of the G code file. I hope this is useful for you. If you have any questions, please email us at helpdesk at bobcnc.com. Thanks for watching.